upstairs, so we kept the yeah. wood. Uh, but in her case, she might have a really pretty oak. I know it's so staircase hard. and trim. So without seeing it, it's hard. It's hard for me to know if you're wanting to go for it and everything else is already white. You kind of probably have an idea of what it would look like white. Yeah, I, would, I might go true. for it and paint it white. Yeah, yeah. I hope that helps a little bit. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, you know, if everything else is white, I would say definitely stick. If you are going to paint it, I would say white. Or if there's like a railing, you could go black or um, to kind of add the pop of it. I'm not sure what that looks like. Um, it would just depend on what her other color exactly. is. Exactly. And maybe black is too harsh yeah. for you. So, um Sometimes, actually, if it's just oak, you could stain it. There's a lot of different mm -hmm. stains out there. Like a walnut um, stain is really pretty, or mm -hmm. um, there's lighter and darker stains. Sometimes that could be a really good option, too. And it might um, be a little bit more durable than paint also on stairs. Okay, we have a really good question for our from our house of six. Um, I'm always afraid to put stuff on the walls because I'm leaving because of leaving holes in the walls. Any suggestions? That is such you know, actually honestly, I still struggle with that because mm -hmm. we just moved into our new house about yeah. a year ago and it takes a while to kind of get things where you want it. Mm -hmm. And um so I totally get where you're coming from and I think you just have to say to yourself you know what I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna try this out maybe I'll hate it you know but maybe you'll love it and um, I would say just go for it honestly mm -hmm. because you won't I don't think you'll regret it and holes can be patched up pretty easily um, I don't what do you say yeah it is scary though it is scary there are is it command is that the brand where oh, they're yeah. sticky and they're strong and you can Peel yeah. off and stick on. Uh -huh. Those really do work for certain things depending on if it's a wire on your picture yeah. that you can use to hang. Oh, my life. Um, so but for, if it's just like drywall, mm -hmm. typically it can be patched. Yeah. And I know for me, as I've been decorating, especially if I'm in one place for a long time, I'll cover one hole up with a pea, another piece. Oh, like if I I'm, do that all the time. I'm, re, I'm gonna redo <laughs> this area, yeah. you know, and if it's a gallery wall or something, I'm gonna redo this, and I mm -hmm. just cover up, you cover up the holes yeah. with another piece if I'm able to. Yeah. And if not, you know, you can get, um, is it plaster? It's some kind mm -hmm. of, um, in a little container, you can even yeah. ask it at one of the Lowe's or Home Depot place like yeah. that, that you can ask them yeah. for wall filler for, that I say don't be afraid go for it if it's just drywall it can be filled in yeah it can be for patched sure. for sure that's good okay we have another question or okay she said yeah yes thanks that helps I'm glad that we could help and thanks again for asking your question um, okay what do you think about having different styles in different rooms and how do you keep it cohesive this is very tri tricky. This is in um, Decorating 201. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is one of the hardest things about decorating, honestly. That's why if you can mix two styles at the same time, making them work, you yeah. know, then that can make it easier on you with the pieces that you're finding. Um, can you give me a little bit more, like tell me what the two styles are? Because that definitely yeah. can, like you can have a very formal furniture yeah. look and formal room and then maybe you're wanting to move it more into a farmhouse style mm -hmm. or more into a, a more eclectic style mm -hmm. and it can it can be diff difficult to combine those but sometimes you can yeah. get away with it if you just have the formal in the front room or something yeah and then do the more informal eclectic in another room mm -hmm. I mean it's hard to know without knowing mm -hmm. what your pieces are sometimes boho you can farmhouse boho far okay which is awesome I mean I love I love that style boho yeah farmhouse sounds I want to see pictures now I know <laughs> I know that farmhouse I definitely think it can work it can work yeah. if you work mm -hmm. with the pieces. You do have to probably be careful with certain pieces where they're going. Yeah. Is what I would say. Yeah. I would say um, maybe have like a statement piece that you truly love. Like maybe it's a hutch or an architectural salvage piece. Or maybe it's like a um, macrame 
or something that's boho mm-hmm. or farmhouse-y, and then you can kind of work off that, I would say um, color scheme can help a lot because yeah, if, you, if you have, you know, brown, white, and gray, maybe that's your color scheme. If you stick with those colors, but your items are boho and farmhouse, I think you could work with that mm-hmm. for sure. I, do, I definitely think you can. You might have to yeah. keep moving things around. You might even have to paint some of your pieces to help them that's blend good, yeah. better with like your main color scheme that you're going with. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, for those of you that are just joining us, at the beginning of this, Adele and I both shared a story of failure. <laughs> And yeah. we have way more stories, but we don't we have time do. for those. Yeah. We only have <laughs> oh, a little bit yeah. of time. And Adele shared about when she painted her college apartment, it had an mm-hmm. accent wall in every room, literally with different colors, literally. bright red, bright blue. Yes. But yeah. she learned a lot from that, and that's yeah. painted over now. Yeah. <laughs> and I learned a lot from my chickpea soup experience mm-hmm. where I decided to just, I can add five cans. I don't need just two like the recipe suggests. Yeah. And I basically ate around chickpeas the whole time that I was eating <laughs> that. But it would, you know, yeah. I learned from it. I love the recipe. I'm going to make it again. It'll be like a tomato soup though without yeah. the chickpeas. So our, sure. the gist of that is you have to go for it. You If you don't yeah. get started, once started, half finished. Adele heard all these as she was growing yeah. up. <laughs> but I used to tell her, once, once start, you have to get started. Get started. Put a picture on the wall. Let yourself get yeah. used to it. Or even if almost anything can be painted over, like if you paint the wall mm-hmm. of color if you don't like it paint it I've done that many times I've been like told Tony this is too yellow I do not like yellow in my walls yellow yeah. is just not my it's a beautiful color for other people but yeah. I just don't work with it well I don't it like yellows in style. my white yeah. I've painted making it brighter white mm-hmm. I've made so many mistakes you just keep making mistakes yeah. you, you know fail your way to success keep exactly. working with something stick it on the wall if you don't like it you can change it and yeah. um and then we have three anchors for decorating for just mm-hmm. your basic de- if I were coming into your home I would look at the space I would look at what colors are already there what colors are in your paint what colors are in your windows and your window frames in any curtains that might be there and any yeah. handles on your doors that can help you know like what metallics to go with silver gold yeah. and those kinds of things yours are Adele painted hers black which look amazing um, Adele painted her Thank floor you. black and white to match her black handles and her yeah. black fridge it looks amazing mm-hmm. um so work Thank with the you. space you're in to start with with your colors choose two colors for what you the spaces you can see mm-hmm. uh, go with neutrals whites and browns and neutrals if you're not sure what colors yet to go with yeah now that i've done this for a while like i have my office has blue blue and gold are those colors that are in there yeah. um do you want to show them a picture of the yeah definitely i just have a i can show you um it's just just a little bit of a gallery it was from my office. Here, I can do this. And the pictures are, I've had these pictures for probably 17 years and I wanted to use them again in my house, but I don't, I didn't really have a blue room they fit in. Aren't they My pretty? other room was green and I didn't want the blue pictures in a green room. And so in my office, I just recently redid the front entryway of our farmhouse and I, the pictures on the, the three in the middle are the anchor pictures. And they're of um, families at the ocean. These three. And um, every every space you decorate will have a focal point. I call it the hero. And every space you decorate, here I'll set that down so I'm not moving okay. it. Every space you have, like it, like here's another picture of my an entryway. Um, and it's not anything fancy at all, but it just shows you. This is my mudroom, and it's just a corner of my mudroom. So if you just get a shelf, that's your anchor piece, that's your hero of the space. And then I, a lot of stuff I do secondhand shopping and I got this bag for $5 at a consignment store. And I actually store things in it that I use almost every day because it's right there. I can just reach in and grab them. Yes. Um, And then this wood W and a picture of, uh, this is actually a card of two dogs. You can't see it very well, but it's my husband gave that to me for one of my uh, birthdays and I just love the picture I love the it's a birthday card and I just framed yeah. it and then this is just Such a, a clock good idea. and um this little jacket and I'm sorry the picture's not very good but the little jacket was a jacket my daughter she's um 23 now but when she was one she wore this jean jacket and I always loved it and so I just found a, a cute wire hanger and I hang it there 
And then this is my husband's briefcase. He actually uses that. And so it, this is, things should be functional. And so get big bags like this. You can store things in. And this is, yes. you know, he can just grab that on his way out. You can see our shoes are here. Like, so it's very functional. Um, mm -hmm. And, but every, every little nook or cranny or wall will have some kind of focal blur or hero. Yeah. For sure. Oh, I wanted to. Oh, you want to show them that? Can again? I just talk about yeah, this sorry, just for one second? Fine. I moved off of it. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that in this room, for this gallery wall, my colors are white, gold, and blue. And then I just have little touches of black. I have this Live Your Dream is black, and then the border around this is black. This is a picture my daughter Audrey drew of our of one of our Christmases. It has a Christmas tree and a dog. You can't see it, but it's special to me. I try incorporate things in your decorating that means something to you. Um, it doesn't have to be super sentimental, but just things that fit your decorating scheme, but that have some meaning like this is a picture of my son and I and I really like that picture of us it's from a, a time at Christmas when we got a Christmas tree and I just have great memories of that and and this is a white and gold frame so it matched my white gold and blue um, decorating and everything else is either white gold or this piece actually doesn't fit <laughs> I'm actually looking for something else to put there because it has gr you can see it has green and silver and if I cover that up, to me, it looks a lot better. Literally, it's the only thing I have that fit in that space. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm currently looking mm -hmm. for something else to put yeah. in there. So sometimes you just work with what you have. You're gonna, I'm always working with it. I'm always, and then yeah. I have a cross here that's symbolic to me because of my love for God and Christ and um, live your dream. Mm -hmm. I believe in dreaming. I believe in hope. I believe in imagination. Yeah. And so just like, I've picked these up over literally the last like, 16 years or so and so yeah. it doesn't happen like you walk into a space you think right. oh this is they're good at it I'm bad at it you know it's not really right. true I've been doing it for you know I've been decorating for 30 years so yeah. I've kind of learned like the style that I like so um the three anchor pieces again that we were starting out talking about are um your space um choose your colors choose neutrals if you don't know what to do and then work around your focal points is the last thing. Like in, in that yeah. mudroom is the shelf, is the hero, the focal point. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to decorate that shelf. So be brave. You know, try yeah. it. Try something new. Put a picture on the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get a frame literally at Goodwill for a dollar or two dollars. Yeah. Pick a pretty frame that has gold or silver or whatever your color is, white even or brown. Yeah. And frame a birthday card to start with that's pretty that's such a good idea and I never know what to do with those anyways because I <laughs> love them and then it's like what do I do so that's a great idea or store them in a basket I store my thank you cards in a basket yeah, and I read through them too. because they encourage me people that have thanked me for things done and it encourages me that is such a good idea yeah. and that would be cute too you guys know I love my baskets so that's another idea I could use a basket for um, so don't be afraid. Be bold. Yeah, try new things. Like, your house doesn't have to look like anybody else's house. You just have to love your house. I feel like everybody should love the house that they live in. Mm -hmm. Not that they have to have super fancy things. Mm -hmm. But because it's a reflection of who they are. And you guys are beautiful, so your home is going to be beautiful and cozy and comfortable and... Um, Okay, here we have another question. Um, oh, hi. She said, blush, bubbles, and boys. Said, hey, who is that pretty lady next to you? Oh, <laughs> nice. Hey, I like this, this one. is my mama, Stacy, and hey. she she is the queen of decorating and has um, had many homes that she's made gorgeous and updated and decorated. Aw, hi. hi. Hi, Don Pinchy. She said, I agree. Aww. <laughs> um, okay, we have a question from Our House of Six. Do you have a suggestion on how to make a chocolate couch look a little lighter? Um, I wish That's I knew what your one. other colors were, but I would probably try to get a, a light brown, some kind of throw, a blanket um, that is maybe a little bit bigger one than you might normally work with to cover mm -hmm. up that dark chocolate and put it over the back 
of the yeah. couch, I would like fold it in half and put it all along the back of the couch and that'll take out a big chunk of that dark chocolate, then get some 